for medications. We're going to learn about some antibiotics in this lecture and again some prefixes and some suffixes to help you learn not just that they're antibiotics but what kind of antibiotics they are. So let's jump right to it. Let's start out with psyllin. Everybody's familiar with that. Uh, something that ends in psyllin is an antibiotic. It's a penicillin based antibiotic and you can hear the psyllin at the end of the word penicillin. One that you will see probably more common than penicillin is amoxicillin. Uh, the brand name for that is amoxyl. So amoxyl, amoxicillin. Anything that ends in psyllin is based on penicillin. Over to the right side, occasionally you'll hear a drug class called fluoroquinolones. Nice big long word, fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolones end in the uh, suffix floxacin. Floxacin, F-L-O-X-A-C-I-N. So I have four examples here. Ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, and gadifloxacin. These four medications all end in the same suffix and they're all fluoroquinolones. So if you're asked in an exam, name one of the, uh, which of the following four medications is a quinolone or a fluoroquinolone, um, you'll pick the one that ends in floxacin. All right, let's go on to the next one, cycline. Anything that ends in cycline is a tetracycline antibiotic. So sometimes you'll see the actual drug called tetracycline. Brand name for that is called Sumycin, S-U-M-Y-C-I-N. You'll probably never see that brand name, but that's what, it, that's what it's called. Uh, but doxycycline is one that you will see pretty often. Um, doxycycline, uh, it comes in a few different forms, um, but that is a tetracycline antibiotic because it ends in cycline. On to the other side, Romycin, R-O-M-Y-C-I-N, Romycin. Drugs that end in that suffix are macrolides, okay? Macrolide medications, azithromycin, clarithromycin, erythromycin. Can anybody think of a common drug that you hear of fairly often that azithromycin is called? It's the brand name in a dosage pack called a Z-Pack. Z-Pack, you've probably had that before. Two the first day, one each additional for the next few days. Um, that's azithromycin, and that's a macrolide antibiotic. So you really start knowing your stuff whenever you know not just that a drug is an antibiotic, but what kind of antibiotic it is. So a Z-Pack is a macrolide antibiotic. Uh, same with clarithromycin and erythromycin. And you'll know that because it ends in romycin. All right, let's learn some more antibiotics. How about cephalosporin antibiotics? Uh, those start or end, or excuse me, start with ceph, C-E-P-H. Many times it's right, written C-E-F, as in Frank, C-E-F. So I have cephalexin, okay, brand name for that is Keflex. Sometimes uh, you'll hear it called uh, different variations of that, Keflex, things like that, but that's fine. Um, other one is ceftriaxone, brand name for that is called Rocephin. It's an injectable only and you're not going to see that as often in a retail pharmacy as you will in an institutional pharmacy like hospital. Um, let's go on to the other side. How about aminoglycoside antibiotics? I'm telling y'all from this particular lecture you can really sound intelligent by knowing these medications. Okay, If you know what a macrolide antibiotic is or you know what an aminoglycoside antibiotic is. So an aminoglycoside is neomycin or gentamicin and you'll know it because it ends in mycin. M-I-C-I-N or M-Y-C-I-N, those are aminoglycoside antibiotics. Uh, neomycin, where you probably know that the most, is a triple antibiotic that has three antibiotics that's over the counter called neosporin. Okay, so the neo comes from this neomycin, which is an aminoglycoside antibiotic. So you'll be able to pull that out of a test because you'll recognize the end of the word that says mycin. These you've actually went over before just a few lectures ago, but we're going to learn a little bit more about them now. Diuretics, or as I called them in the previous lecture, uh, water pills. So you're trying to get off excess water to control your blood pressure. But S-E-M-I-D-E, -E, semide, uh, that is a loop diuretic. There's two classes of these diuretics, loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics. The loop diuretics I want you to know are furosemide and torsemide. Brand names are Lasix and Demodex. Okay? 
So that's our, uh, those are loop diuretics that end in semide. Thiazide, it ends in thiazide. Easy to kind of figure that out. They're thiazide diuretics. They're a different class and they work a little differently in the body. For your standpoint, I just need you to know that there's two differences. There's the loop diuretics, furosemide and torsemide, and the thiazide diuretics, hydrochlorothiazide, okay? Or HCTZ, as you already know, because again, hydrochlorothiazide is too much to write out, too much to say, HCTZ. Um, over to the right side, I have migraine headaches. Uh, your triptans is what you'll hear them called sometimes, your triptan medications. They're great for migraines. I have Imitrex, which the ger generic name is Sumatriptan, and Maxalt, which the generic name is Rizatriptan. These are great for migraine headaches. They work really well, but I need you to recognize in an exam if it said, which of the following could be used in migraine headaches? You're going to look for the drug that says, that ends in triptan, okay? Sumatriptan, Rizatriptan, anything else triptan, you're going to know it's migraine uh, medication. With that, we're through with this particular uh, lecture on drug nomenclature. Study these lectures to know them very well because I think if you're asked to identify which of the following is a certain class of medication, if you'll look at the breaking down the, the uh, drug name by parts, you'll probably know what it is or you'll at least have a good idea what it is. Let's move on to learn some more medications and maybe even a quiz.